Let's My heart see. Is pounding right now. <laughs> it actually sold for three hundred ten thousand dollars. Oh my god! What? No way! <laughs> <laughs> this game is fun. <laughs> We're having fun. The used car market is still out of control. So today we're gonna be guessing to see how much actual people paid for actual cars. I'm here with Nolan, Justin. I beat James at this game so many times he decided to stay home. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. Say goodbye to that awkward bulge in your back pocket. Say hello to the Ridge Wallet. It's sleek, industrial in design to fit comfortably in your front pocket. It can easily hold up to 12 cards with room for cash. And the durable exterior means the wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. So you can carry this wallet for life. Plus, it has RFID blocking technology which protects you from digital pickpocketers. Now you know why they have 40,000 plus five-star reviews. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridgewallet.com slash donutmedia using the code donutmedia or the link in the subscription. Now back to the show. Oh yeah, just so established, Price is Right rules, you go over, you bust. All right. Okay, let's, yeah, let's look at our we? first car, shall we? 2010 Honda Element EX with mm -hmm. four-wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Has an automatic transmission, it's a one-owner vehicle with 58,000 miles. Wow. And the MSRP would have been $22,500 back okay. in 2010. Okay, all right. This is already uh, starting off with a tough one. Yeah. I don't ever think I've ever seen this car. People really <laughs> love the Element. This has four-wheel drive, which yeah. on Bring a Trailer must perk some interest. Yes. There's a lot of space in there. Uh, Yuri from the Straight Pipes has one. I'm going to bet that someone saw this and was willing to pay what the new price was for it. But I'm gonna play it safe and say 22. Okay. I'm gonna say $14,000. I think you messed up, dude. <laughs> it's it's I, th I, th I think it's going for more. This okay. is Bring a Trailer we're talking yeah. about. Yeah, I'm gonna say 24,000. The Honda Element sold for $32,000. You are Edged me out. Oh my God. Dude. Edged me oh out. Oh my God. God. All right, Max, what's next? Our next vehicle is an enthusiast car. It is a 2018 Ooh. Dodge Demon. Oh. Okay. This only has 540 miles on it, mm -hmm. and it's a one owner vehicle. MSRP for the Demon in 2018 was $86,000. None of them sold for that much. This was a collector car. They built less than 3,000 of them, if I'm correct. When they sold, I think they were over $100,000. Yeah. But then the red eye came out, and they're like. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, 165. I think that's a. Good guess. I hate the idea of people like buying new cars as investments, yeah. but this was a smart one because I'm going to say $200,000. Oh, wow. Oh, Nolan, man. Nolan's here to game today. Oh, Nolan's gaming. Dude, the element sold for 32. I got to like, <laughs> aim a little bit you higher. You got to adjust yeah. your, yeah. I'm going to say like 118. Yeah, you're wrong, but good guess. That's fine. I'm <laughs> cool with it. <laughs> Hammer price for the demon was $173,000. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, our next car is a little more relatable. It's a 1988 GMC Suburban 1500 Sierra Classic with Hell four yeah. wheel drive. Now, the total mileage is unknown. Carfax indicates a potential odometer rollover and original MSRP in the 80s would have been about $14,000. Okay, so this thing is either a hundred thousand dollars plus, yeah, or it's like, like reasonable like what you ten thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, like it's one of those these square bot. You don't see these ever, mm -hmm. you know. So I think these are big money trucks. I'm gonna say fifty five thousand dollars. I'm gonna I'm gonna say thirty grand. I think you guys are definitely on the right track. Mm -hmm. But I'm also thinking about Max and the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gaming it. You're gaming, gaming it. it. So I'm going to go 20 grand. OK, that's good, because I can see a little gleam in his eye. <laughs> I can see it. I can always tell when Max is sneaky. All right, Max, hit it. Let's My see. Heart is pounding right now. <laughs> the GMC Suburban sold for fifty. Two thousand oh. dollars. <laughs> what did I say? Wait, I don't know. You said fifty-five. No! Hey! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Price is right, you ripped my heart out. Fifty two thousand dollars, dude. Come on, man. Damn with, it. with unknown mileage? That's crazy. And it rolled over. It's what is wrong with you? It's super clean though. And you never see these. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean You never see them. This is when the price is right really rips your heart out. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was fun. Next Max. A 1984 oh. Pontiac Fiero hmm. SE Indie Pace Car Edition. With a four-speed manual, it's four got 90,000 reported miles, but mm -hmm. true mileage is also unknown. Mm -hmm. 
It's one of about 2,000 Indy Pace car examples for this model year. MSRP would have been about $8,000 in 1984. That doesn't help us. No. Right. I don't know anything about these cars. Me I have either. no. They're, not, they're still not worse. When the car went for sale, they always show it off by making it a pace car of some racing event. That, and that's the weird thing about it. Like, if it didn't actually do the race, who cares? It's got a rear spoiler, pop up, up and down headlights. The weirdest wheels. I'd never liked these wheels. Yeah, I'm not a big, no. fan. Not a big fan of them. Like, I know on Craigslist, these cars are like $5,000 cars. Yeah. Eight grand. Okay, that's a good guess. Yeah. $35,000. <laughs> it's not a bad guess. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Oh boy. Oh, do I go, do I split the middle? Huh? Do I middle no, it up? I, mean, I was doing it for the memes. You <laughs> like, actually make a, make an informed decision. I don't know. I'm going to say, uh, yeah, I'll say 10,000 bucks. The Fiera sold for 5,200 bucks. Oh, oh. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I literally said they go on Craigslist for five thousand yeah. uh, dollars. What am I doing? Why didn't I say that? When, Why did I just say five thousand dollars, Jerry? <laughs> That's what you knew. We all win that it, round. It we all won. Uh, Everybody, okay. clap it up. Relax. We all won. We all lost. By the way, this is a great time to talk about our Donut Underground members car of the week. Oh, yeah. So we have a post your car channel, and I I love scrolling through it, seeing what people have. This one caught my eye, and I really like it. So this is handpicked by me. If you want more information about joining the Donut Underground, hit that join button down below. You'll learn everything. So our next car is a 1971 Datsun 240Z. Oh. This example is unrestored, has 21,000 miles. Wow. It's got Whoa. the original window sticker. Green. It's and it's nice. green. Sick. Yeah, they're still desirable. I mean, these are these are desirable cars no matter what the shape they're in. Cause I mean, the Z fan base yeah. is really strong. People really love these cars. Wow, that's a really nice interior too. Dude, that's, is that's nice. original. Damn. Dude, that's really the wild. quilted diamond that. pattern yeah. on the side. On cool the looking seats. Is that sweet. steering wheel original? Wow, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna say 55. 55? 55. 55. Jerry, go ahead. Oh, dude, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. E oh. <laughs> ah. He's stressing out. He's stressing out. Okay, here's my thought. I'm okay. going to give you my thought process. Okay. okay. I'm thinking, is this car a hundred plus thousand dollar car? It's not repainted. Mm -hmm. That's a huge thing, yeah. right? Like low miles. I think it's over a hundred thousand dollars. So I'm going to say a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. I don't yeah. know if that's where those are. These are. I'm gonna no say idea. 85. That's a, That was yeah. my second guess. Yeah. I was either 85 to 100. Yeah. Like that's a great guess. Drum roll. Drum roll. All right, drum let's hear roll. it. All I right. went big. The Datsun sold for $310,000. Oh my God! What? Oh! <laughs> no way! $300,000. Wow. Dude. Did Good for Nissan you. Did buy this? Unreal, yeah. <laughs> Good for you, whoever wow. has that. All right, Max, I need to cleanse my palate. What's next? <laughs> well, uh, up next, we actually have a little bit of a mini game. Oh, cool. Oh, Whose like car sold for more? In the left corner, we have a 1964 Volkswagen bus uh -huh. converted to a camper that was owned by Jerry Seinfeld from 2010 to 2016. And then in our right corner, we have a 1974 Polsky Fiat 126P that was built for Tom Hanks. Yeah, wow. So you you basically can each guess which one you think sold for more, and everyone has the potential to win a point here. If Tom Hanks looks that dorky in that car, <laughs> yeah. everyone's gonna look dorky in yeah, that car. Yeah, that's fair. Americans don't give a crap about Fiat's, so I'm gonna go with the van. All right, All right I'm saying bus. 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 Jerry Seinfeld's Volkswagen sold for $120,000. Okay. Tom Hanks's Fiat sold for eighty-three thousand dollars. You all get a point. Oh, good job, boys. Good yeah. job. Good job. Yeah. All right, that was fun. Put yeah, that makes sense. On the board. Those Volkswagen buses are crazy expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Our next vehicle is a DeLorean Ooh. DMC twelve with seventeen thousand miles on it, modified mm -hmm. as a replica of the vehicle from. Back to the Future. It's got an out-of-time license plate from Florida. According to Haggerty's valuation tool, the average price of an unmodified DeLorean with similar mileage would be about $40,000 for reference. But okay. how much does the Back to the Future paraphernalia add? I mean, this is an iconic movie car. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's cool. It's pretty good. This is the only time you can have exposed wires in a car and be like, sick, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that looks awesome. <laughs> Here's the thing. I've seen a couple of these ones. Don't look great. Mm -hmm. This 
one looks really this good. Looks good. 80, 80, 80. You want to get weird with this? 80. <laughs> I can't be $80,000 no. for this, right? Okay, I'm going to say uh, 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 higher <laughs> low, higher <laughs> low. Let's get your serious, serious now. now. Okay, higher low. I'm going to go, I'm going to go 30. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> This game is fun, and <laughs> <laughs> we're having fun. Jerry, he doesn't know which to go. Jerry, I don't know which Jerry, way to go. Jerry, I don't know. Jerry. I have no clue what <laughs> price people pay for toys that look weird and that suck also. Like, the DeLorean's not a great car. Um, okay, $45,000. I, uh, I don't know. That's a shot in the old dark right there, Nolan. I'm going to say $45,001. Oh, you, <laughs> you little Go 4502. Just uh, <laughs> 4502. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. It actually sold for $159,000. Yes! <laughs> what? <laughs> $159,000. I was actually going to guess 100, but y'all went so low. I was like, oh okay. <laughs> oh my god, dude. There's not even like a remake coming out or anything. Uh, uh, just you wait. But still, $159,000? That's great. Made dude. by some guy. All right, Max. I'm thoroughly upset. Next. All right, so our next car is a 1986 uh, Volvo 240 oh, wagon. This is so hard. With the four speed, 49,000 original miles shown. Like, this is what you think of when you think of a Volvo. Yes. Yeah. When you think of a Volvo, when it's you, when brown says, it's and Volvo, a manual. It's brown. brown and manual. It has those headrests that I always saw. Those really are cool so cool. I yeah. love those. I love those seats. Look at oh. that brown leather. That's so nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, That's so mm -hmm, cool. Mm -hmm. Think that this is a Volvo. We're not going crazy, at least as far as I know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say 43. Uh, $100,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a good guess, because <laughs> who the f knows? Uh, I'm going to go 50000 Okay, that's probably good, too. Well, this sold for thirty-six five. Mm. Nobody gets points. We all lost. We're all over. You all lost. Nice. All right, guys, well, we have one more car okay. that could tie the game. All right. All right. Then we're going to have to go into sudden death. Uh. Our final vehicle is a 1998 uh. Toyota Supra. It only has 22,000 miles. Okay. It was seized by the police from a drug dealer who would dress up like a FedEx guy to deliver marijuana. One of the vehicles seized that went to auction was this Toyota Supra, and it is a turbo manual. Okay, so the turbo best- Turbo manual American, okay. The best spec you can get. It's pretty sweet. Right. This thing is cherry. It's pretty sweet, dude. Yeah. yeah. Um, Safe bet, 100. I'm going for 100. And it's not bring a trailer. So, yeah, less, that's people, true. less people probably saw it, yeah. but this was nationally covered. Oh, God. Here, I'll yeah. guess. Okay. I think 125. Okay, why do I want to say this thing's $300,000? Because huh? it probably would be on brand trailer. Uh, <laughs> this is the game right here, too. <laughs> oh, come on. This is total bull. Max, you did the last one that's not bring a trailer. So I don't know if the bring a trailer tax matters. Come on, this is come on. The 240. It's oh yeah. Was 300 oh. grand. This thing, this thing has to be 300 thousand dollars. I'm playing it safe for the sake of the game, and I'm gonna say 150 thousand dollars. Okay, Max, what is it? We all lose. All right. The Supra sold for a record setting. Oh. 265 thousand dollars. Damn it! <laughs> See, insane. I I knew I. Yeah. Good thing I didn't say three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> people out there have too much money. Dare wins again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who won? Yeah. Jeremiah is our I winner. Needed, I, needed, I needed the point. You needed wow. the point, Justin. In case you didn't know, Inglewood Propulsion Laboratory is what we call our shop here in Inglewood. Now, I've been testing this hat out for a few months. That's why it's so dirty, but it's working. So we decided to release it. So go to donutmedia.com to get yours today. Right now, go, click it. Best hat ever. These coming soon. Garage door is not for sale. Thank you guys so much for watching. We play this game a whole bunch, so if you want to check out more used car prices, click over here. Uh, do the thing and like and subscribe. That really helps us out. Uh, come chat with us. We're always on the Discord. If you want to be a part of that community, hit that join button below. Follow Nolan on Nolan J Sykes. Follow Justin at Justin Freeman.
follow me at Jeremiah Burry, and of course follow us at Donut at Donut Media. Guys, this was fun. That was fun. Later. Till <laughs> next time. <laughs>